Shane Warren has died aged 52 after a suspected heart attack while staying in a villa in Thailand. The Australian cricket legend had tweeted just 12 hours earlier about the death of another Australian cricket star, wicketkeeper Rodney Marsh. A statement from Shane's management company read, It is with great sadness we advise that Shane Keith Warren passed away of a suspected heart attack in Koh Samui, Thailand today, Friday 4th of March. Shane was found unresponsive in his villa and despite the best efforts of medical staff, he could not be revived. The family requests privacy at this time and will provide further details in due course. Warren is survived by his three adult children, Jackson, Brooke, and Summer. The cricket star often spoke of his love for his children, alongside the difficulty of being a single parent. Warren divorced his wife Simone Callahan in 2005, after being married for 10 years. Speaking to the Herald Sun last year, Warren said his duties as a parent were hard but fun. He said, I always made their lunches, walked them to school, took them to sport, etc. It was bloody hard, being a single parent is difficult, but fun too. I'm so glad they are 19, 21 and 23 now. Was Shane Warren married? Warren married Simone Callahan in 1995, and they share three children together. After divorcing Simone in 2005, Warren said his celebrity status had made it hard for him to find love again. Speaking to Men's Health he said of marrying again in 2021, I'd never say never about anything, after what I've experienced in my life. If it happens it happens, but I'm not looking. Of constantly being in the spotlight Warren said, the attention and the judgment were always there, and, yes, I made plenty of poor choices along the journey. Shane Warren's relationship with Liz Hurley after his divorce, one high-profile relationship which made headlines was with actress Elizabeth, Liz, Hurley. Warren dated Liz for three years, and at one stage the pair were engaged before later parting ways in 2013. He told The Mirror in 2018, I miss the love we had. My years with Elizabeth were the happiest of my life. I wanted to be better with her. Warren's death has shocked the globe, with tributes pouring in for the legendary athlete. BBC Breakfast presenter Dan Walker recalled an appearance by Warren on the programme in January this year. He tweeted, Genuinely can't believe the sad news about the death of Shane Warren. He came on breakfast just a couple of weeks ago and was as effervescent as ever. What a talent he was. He had a huge impact on cricket and will be sorely missed by so many. Sir Ian Botham tweeted, I've lost a great friend on and off the playing field. One of the best my thoughts are with Jackson Summer and Brooke. R.I.P. Warnster. Warren is widely regarded as one of the greatest bowlers in cricket history. Express.co.uk has rounded up the top five moments in his career, which you can read here. You can also read about Warren's Bowl of the Century to Mark Gadding here.